news. And that breaking news from the state of California, Sacramento, San Joaquin and Solano counties are among the several counties now able to move into less restrictive tiers. Here's a look at the counties moving this week. Sacramento, San Joaquin, Solano and Nevada moving into the orange moderate tier. So that means more businesses can expand indoor capacities for customers. Many Bay Area and coastal counties are now moving into the least restrictive tiers. That includes Marin, San Benito, Monterey and Ventura counties. Here's a look at the current map so you can see the colors all over. The majority of the state is in the moderate orange tier right now. Four counties remain in the red substantial tier and 19 counties are now in the least restrictive minimal yellow tier. The update shows case rates continuing to improve ahead of the state's June 15th reopening date. Here's what the current case numbers look like with COVID-19. There are more than 3.6 million cases of coronavirus in the Golden State. 62,000 Californians have died from the virus. California's case rate continues to decline. That's a marker showing the virus is not spreading as quickly as more people are getting vaccinated. The state reported more than 400 new cases on Monday. The seven day test positivity rate has dropped to 0.7%. And here's a look at our other coronavirus headlines. The World Health Organization has announced a new and easier way to remember the names of the different COVID variants. The agency says it will now use letters of the Greek alphabet. So here's a look at the names for the UK, South Africa and India variants. The WHO says this move will make the names easier to pronounce and will avoid stigmatizing the country they were first detected in. White House employees will return to work in person next month. White House office and office of the vice president staffers who are fully or partially remote are being told to prepare to transition to full time in person work between July 6th to July 23rd. People working in the executive office of the president will return at a later date. To Japan now, where several large-scale businesses are reopening after the country eased some pandemic restrictions. Department stores, movie theaters, and museums reopened in Tokyo today. In Osaka, Universal Studios, Japan open on weekdays only. The amusement park will limit visitors to 5,000 and close early. Moderna is seeking full FDA approval of its COVID-19 vaccine. It was granted an emergency use authorization back in December for use in adults ages 18 and older. The company says it will submit the data on a rolling basis over the coming weeks. The CDC says more than 124 million doses of the Moderna vaccine have been administered in the country. Pfizer BioNTech asked for full FDA approval last month. So here's a quick snapshot of the vaccination efforts in California. 17.3 million Californians are fully vaccinated. That accounts for 51% of the people 12 years and older. Another 4.3 million are waiting for their second dose.